I'm Bob Pianta, the Dean of the Curry School of Education, and thank you for coming today uh, to join in celebrating a landmark moment in the history of the Curry School, the dedication of the Sheila C. Johnson Center for Human Services. As most of you know, we recently opened this building, Bavaro Hall, which houses the Sheila C. Johnson Center on the ground floor, and Bavaro has provided Curry a tremendous opportunity to create an education grounds. Many of us think of it as the most beautiful school building for a school of education in the country. Um, Bavaro Hall has brought together many of our research centers and clinics previously in off-ground spaces to this Curry complex where new synergies can take place within and across disciplines. We're deeply grateful for the fact that Bavaro was funded solely through private contributions, a tangible sign of the tremendous support that Curry enjoys. I want to thank all of you who have participated in supporting this project, especially Sheila Johnson. Truly, it was Sheila's vision for clinical and education services, training, and outreach that drove what we now celebrate today as this premier center for human services. Sheila understood the value of housing under one roof, a set of comprehensive and integrated services to children and families, the value of those services in a community, and the importance of training a next generation of service providers in a state-of-the-art setting. So not only are we deeply grateful for Sheila's financial support for this project, we are also indebted to her for her vision. It's an honor to lead Curry at this point in time when so many of our programs and research are influencing positive change in education in the Commonwealth and across the country. Our ranking has moved 10 places in the past two years with an overall of 21 out of 1,000 schools of education. Three of our programs, elementary education, secondary education, and special education are ranked in the top 10. Our education leadership program was recently received top 20 rankings, and our kinesiology program was just noted as a top 10 program in that profession's recent list of top schools. But perhaps more important, however, is the fact that Curry's efforts, particularly our research and outreach programs, are at work not only in the Commonwealth, but in all 50 states and a number of other countries to improve learning and student performance for students from preschool through higher education. The Sheila C. Johnson Center is an important part of our impacts on children and on communities. For the first time, the Curry School has been able to bring together in one location four of our renowned outreach clinics, the Center for Clinical Psychology Services, the Speech, Language, and Hearing Center, the McGuffey Reading Center, and the Personal and Career Development Center. These clinics each have served children and families in the area for decades, and together they serve over 700 clients each year. And with the opening of this new state-of-the-art Sheila C. Johnson Center for Human Services, we can now offer an expanded range of critical services to the community. Treatment for language, speech, and hearing disorders, therapeutic services for mental health, emotional learning and behavior problems, and family support, a full complement of services that support children's success in literacy, from diagnostics to treatment and consultation, and a set of counseling services for career life planning, personal growth development, and school-related challenges. And perhaps most importantly, Sheila's Gifts make, makes possible the true integration of these services, and we now have the capacity to serve the whole individual. So not only does the Sheila C. Sheila C. Johnson Center now provide a broad range of integrated services to more individuals than ever, but it also increases the quality of clinical training experiences for the more than 100 students who are enrolled in the related professional preparation programs represented by these clinics. We're excited about what the center means for the Curry School and for the future of the children who benefit from its services. And we are grateful to Sheila for her generosity. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you the new president of the University of Virginia, Teresa A. Sullivan. President Sullivan joined us uh, in Charlottesville on August 1st. And in our brief time of working together, I've been deeply appreciative of her support for the mission of the Curry School, her deep knowledge of both PK-12 and higher education, as well as her commitment to this university. I've enjoyed working together with President Sullivan and look forward to many opportunities in the future to strengthen the university and the Curry School and its impact on children and families. Please welcome President Sullivan. Thank you, Bob. I'm very pleased to be with all of you this morning. We're especially fortunate to have Governor McDonald here today, as well as Marie Crump, Sheila Johnson's mother. Sheila had a last-minute urgent personal matter to attend to, 
but we're honored to have her mother here to represent her. Two of Sheila's colleagues are here as well, Stuart Haney, Stuart, raise your hand, here we go, and Jardy Rutz, and thank you for coming. Jardy, I know you're here somewhere. There you are, okay. Sheila is not only the generous benefactor we honor today, but she is also a member of the university's Board of Visitors. Two other members of the Board of Visitors are here today, Sid Dorsey, there is Sid, and Helen Dragas. Helen? I'm a true believer in the importance of public higher education, and I've dedicated my own career to service in public higher education. The University of Virginia was founded as a public institution and it remains committed to Thomas Jefferson's vision of educating and serving the citizens of Virginia. Although founded after Mr. Jefferson's time in 1905, the Curry School sustains Mr. Jefferson's vision by preparing students to work in our nation's educational system as teachers and counselors, and as clinicians who serve families in a variety of ways. Research conducted in the Curry School leads to better learning and successful experiences in our educational system. The Curry School is a leader among education schools because of its strong track record in preparing students for careers in education and its influence through training and services provided by faculty and clinicians. The Sheila C. Johnson Center for Human Services will enable the Curry School to reach even more families and to provide integrated care for young learners who need support. The Sheila C. Johnson Center will become the top psychoeducational treatment center in Virginia by bringing four of the school's outreach programs together. Clinics in communication disorders, reading and literacy acquisition, counseling and career development, and clinical psychological service. Parents can now bring their children to one place for a variety of, of assessments and a single cross-disciplinary treatment plan. The Sheila C. Johnson Center is unlike any other human services center in the country, providing a broad range of integrated services in an academic setting, allowing clinicians and staff to apply research to continually renew best practices. Here, the university provides the community and the entire region with world-class services, strengthening our relationship with families and individuals who might not otherwise come to the grounds. The Sheila C. Johnson Center fills a critical need for services in Virginia, and it enables Curry faculty members to train a new generation of service providers in a state-of-the-art facility. I'm very grateful for Sheila Johnson's vision and generosity in making this important work possible and for all that she has done for the Curry School and the entire university. And now it is my honor to introduce the 71st Governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Bob McDonald. Governor? Well, thank you, uh, President Sullivan, uh, for having me back. I kind of missed the place, haven't been here since Friday. <laughs> I had the pleasure of being here Friday at the dedication of the new South Lawn Project at Now Hall and the other uh, great uh, facilities over there. I told uh, Dr. Sullivan if she can raise private money to open up a building a week, I'll be back every week. So <laughs> keep up the good work. Uh, great to be here with some of your, uh, your leaders, uh, Vice Rector Dragas and uh, Ms. Dorsey. And, leaders of the university, uh, especially uh, honored to be here with uh, Ms. Ms. Crump uh, to uh, be able to honor Sheila Crump Johnson today and her generosity to the university and Rajardi Ritz and Stuart Haney and people of uh, Sheila's staff. I'm glad to be uh, with, uh, with them. Um, and thanks to all of you, faculty and uh, clinicians, uh, staff, uh, people that just uh, care about higher education, care about young people, care about this marvelous interdisciplinary approach uh, to taking care of young folks. Uh, I want to salute all of you and thank you very much uh, for coming. I'm also glad to be joined again 
by uh, the First Lady of Virginia, the mother of two UVA first-year students, Maureen <laughs> McDonald. Thank you, Maureen, for, uh, for coming today. Uh, and Dean Pianta, thank you for your leadership here at the Curry School. Uh, my Secretary of Education is uh, working on his PhD as we speak, in fact, at the Curry School. He spent a lot of time here at, at UVA, and he's doing a great job for me. And, uh, over those last nine months, uh, the Curry School has really been instrumental uh, with my administration in helping us to craft some educational reforms uh, that successfully got through the General Assembly this year, from charter schools to college laboratory schools, a bill we signed here at the University of Virginia the Curry School, virtual schools, and, and a number of other things we're looking at to try to find ways to be part of the national uh, move to reform, improve, uh, bring more resources, more accountability, more entrepreneurship uh, to uh, K-12 or PK-12 education uh, to help our young people uh, learn better and ultimately pursue the American dream and contribute to the great country and the great state that we're privileged to live in. So thanks for all the great work at the Curry School. This is yet another milestone uh, in this uh, great school with the Sheila C. Johnson Center uh, for human services. Uh, I've gotten the extensive uh, seven minute tour before I got here and was uh, just impressed with the ideas that go into uh, this uh, approach. Uh, uh, multiple, uh, multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach uh, to um, finding ways to figure out what, uh, we, how we can make young children uh, learn better to solve their problems, to do it uh, with, uh, with their families by having everybody from the clinical psychologists, the audiologists, the speech pathologists, uh, the educators, all, all together under one roof uh, to try to uh, get to the bottom of what uh, was preventing young people from learning the way they should. I think it's terrific. It's, the, it's like what we're trying to do in a number of other areas of government to create these one-stop shops uh, where folks can come to one place and try to get all the answers uh, that they need. So I really uh, appreciate the vision, uh, Dr. Pianta, that you and the rest have come up with to, uh, to create this, uh, this, uh, this center. Uh, I also want to just uh, give a, a word of salute to Sheila C. Johnson. I've gotten to know Sheila over the last uh, couple of, uh, of years uh, very well. And so uh, when I had my four appointments to the Board of Visitors this year, she was a, an obvious and likely choice uh, to be able to join our other distinguished board members here at this uh, university. Uh, to become a member of the board. Uh, she's a visionary, she's an entrepreneur from her uh, early days as being one of the founders of, uh, of BET to now being uh, the only woman in America that's uh, an owner of three professional sports franchises, a leader in the hospitality and travel and tourism industry, uh, truly internationally. Uh, she has helped me on uh, a number of the things that we're doing to create jobs and promote business opportunities here in Virginia with her, uh, her innovative uh, ideas. Uh, she is a producer, uh, now having a, a very significant uh, film that's getting the international acclaim uh, to cast some light on the plight of uh, victims of AIDS, particularly in the inner city. Uh, so there are not many areas in innovation and leadership, but particularly in education, that Sheila is not involved with. And I think her, her love for children uh, and her desire to see all young children have the roadblocks to, and the impediments to uh, achievement and accomplishment uh, torn down so that everybody can get a good education is evident by her uh, very generous $5 million gift to make this, uh, make this center a reality today. So I'm, I'm delighted to be here to salute uh, Sheila. I'm sorry that she is uh, not able to be with us today, but we uh, have her mom here today, which is just terrific. I've had a chance to meet Mrs. Crump a couple of times, and I think we're all, all going to be delighted to hear from here in just a few minutes. So for all of you that are part of this great institution here at uh, UVA, I salute you, and particularly here the leaders, and, uh, all of the faculty, staff, practitioners uh, at the uh, Curry School and the Sheila C. Johnson uh, Center. I know that um, you are going to be doing uh, great things. The smell of fresh paint is still in the air, but uh, <laughs> Uh, I know um, in, uh, in short order, so the 60 families you've already uh, treated are going to go into the hundreds and then thousands of people that you will be able to do great things with to give them new opportunities in, uh, in the state and around the region. So God bless you. It's great to be back. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing the great stories of accomplishment coming for many years ahead out of the Curry School. Thank you very much.
it's now my pleasure to introduce to you Marie Crump, who's here today to represent her daughter, Sheila Johnson. Mrs. Crump was born and raised in, Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania um, and settled outside of Chicago, where she and her late husband raised two children, Sheila and her brother. Ms. Crump worked for many years as an accountant for the Heinz VA Hospital in Illinois and has always been a dedicated mom who loves her children, her grandchildren, and her church. I'm certain that her example of giving back to her community in many ways was an inspirational influence on Sheila, who is one of the most generous philanthropists in Virginia. Ms. Crump moved to Virginia two years ago and loves it here, I'm told, and I'm also to told you're warming up to the Redskins, but still a diehard Chicago Bears fan. <laughs> um, but you may not be, uh, I'm sure you're not surprised to learn that Ms. Crump is the number one fan of uh, the WNBA's Washington Mystics. So uh, please welcome uh, Ms. Crump to the podium. I can't find words to express how I feel about being with you this morning. <laughs> I consider it a great honor. <coughs> I have blood in my throat, but it's not going to stop me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm proud to represent my daughter, Sheila C. Johnson. She wishes to be here today, but she couldn't come because of family obligations. One thing I can say about my daughter, her family comes first. So I've come to represent her. As a mother, I cherish the gift that she has given this wonderful university. From the time my daughter was born, and as I held her in my arms, I knew that God had given me a baby that would bring faith, hope, and love to all people whom she would come in contact with, not only in this country, but in countries around the world. <clears throat> it is her love for education she believes in her heart that education is the key, educating ourselves and educating each other. Education is a road to self-improvement. She grew up playing the violin. <clears throat> I still remember her late at night when everyone in the house had gone to bed, standing in the middle of the kitchen practicing the violin because she is a teacher at heart. She taught music at Sidwell Friends School and she tutored students. Her goal was to be a violinist for a worldwide famous orchestra, but her path led her to other places and led her to help others. Yes, I remember when she started an orchestra in D.C. She started out with two pupils and ended up with 125 students. And she trained them and, and took them to Jordan to perform in the annual music festival at Jurash, Jordan. Her students marched in playing Sweet Georgia Brown. <laughs> I could go on and on, but time would not permit. <coughs> This is why she supports and, 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 and champions the Curry School. I know she is honored by the opening of the Curry School, Sheila C. Johnson Center for Human Services. This service is a place for everyone. It's not just for students, but for everyone in our community children, students, and adults who need 
professional help. It is, it to be honest with you, this center reminds me of our home back in Illinois where Sheila grew up. Our home back then was open to the entire block. I said back then. <laughs> Students got together at our home after school. Some of those kids didn't have parents at home, but Sheila being Sheila never said no to anyone in need. Yes, I was there had, uh, handing out hot dogs and potato chips and Kool-Aid. <laughs> but they always had a wonderful time. This is what the center is about, an open place where people can get the care they deserve. It does not matter who they are. It does not matter where they come from. No one is turned away. This is what human service is all about, which is the heart of the Shiro C. Johnson Center. We're living in difficult times. Everyone is struggling, and we all owe it to each other to help one another in any way we can. As Thurgood Marshall once said, none of us got where we are solely by pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. We got here because somebody bent down and helped us pick up our boots. I know this is my daughter's way of helping. My daughter and I thank you all so very much, and God bless you. Thank you again all for coming and uh, uh, it's a wonderful celebration. Thank you very much. Thanks. 